your boy, K20 Turbo Kid. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We have a brand new product release offered by Jack Spania Racing. This is called a clutch pedal stopper. It is extremely useful for anyone running an aftermarket clutch kit, such as a twin disc or any performance clutch. The idea is to set the bottom of the clutch pedal stopper just below the engagement point to allow you the driver to make quicker, smoother shifts and not over travel the pressure plate, causing damage to the diaphragm and to the throwout bearing. Also, over traveling the clutch pedal can hurt the thrust washers on your crankshaft. So now let's take a look at the product itself. As you can see, it has a nut here. This nut here, uh, you would use an open wrench, which would be half inch or 13 millimeter for you to tighten it or loosen it. It has a rubber stopper here. So you don't make metal to metal contact on a vehicle. It'll be nice and quiet. That's the adjustment bolt as well. So you can actually adjust this in and out. As you can see, it's threaded on this side so it can go you know, further back, further forward. It's made out of aluminum. These two bolts are five millimeter bolts. So when you go to install this, I suggest you put Loctite on this. But yeah, it's a nice looking product. What I like to do next is at least show you guys some of the parts that could potentially go bad by you running an aftermarket performance clutch kit on your vehicle and not using some sort of clutch pedal stopper, such as the one offered by Jack Spania Racing. But before I go any further, I want to give a quick special shout out to Alex at Humble Performance. Alex looked out. He sent me this nice hat, his beautiful shirt. I love the design, Alex. He also sent me a few cool stickers. And he also sent me, which I didn't expect, a 4-bar K-Series map sensor. So how cool was that, right? Thank you, Alex. It's definitely going to be put to good use when I go K-Series Turbo on my setup. So guys, anything you guys need, these guys sell car parts. They do engine builds. They do transmission builds, right? Alex himself, the owner there, he also tunes the cars there. And this guy's a beast. So check these guys out at HumblePerformance.com. So back to this video, guys. Jack Spania Racing, thank you for the clutch pedal stopper. I'm definitely going to put it to good use. I know I didn't have to review the product, but I chose to do so. Reason being, I want people to know that even though your products are affordable, they actually work, right? So guys, if you want to get a hold of me, my info is down below in the description. And in, at Instagram, is at k 20 Turbo Kid. My email is also down there on the description. Guys, please like my video, share, subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, it just shows me one thing. It shows me I'm doing the right thing. It shows me that you guys love the content and it pushes me further to put out more content. So thank you guys. Let's get to the video. Here we have an aftermarket clutch kit. This is considered a twin disc clutch. The reason it's considered a twin disc clutch is because it actually has two clutch discs, those two gold parts, right? So this is perfect for anyone running high horsepower, such as a turbocharged application, whether it be a race application or a street application. So now, every single clutch kit comes with what's called a throwout bearing. This goes installed on the clutch fork. You can see one tab here and one tab here. The clutch fork, this will sit right on the clutch fork, right where those tabs are. So picture this being installed on a car like so. Every time you push your clutch pedal in, this will go this way, right? When it's moving, it's making engagement against this diaphragm here from the clutch plate. So consider you pushing the clutch pedal further than it should. You're pushing this further than it should, right? So what happens is these guys here on the diaphragm can actually stay bent down. They can actually snap off. No matter which one of the two happens, you're going to have issues, right? You can make the clutch disc go bad. All this can seize together. And what's going to happen is that when you go to start your car, it's not going to want to start. You're going to want to put the car in gear. It's not going to want to go in gear. You can actually damage your gears on your transmission by doing so. Okay. Another thing worth mentioning is these guys here. If you don't know what they are, these are called thrust washers. So these go installed on your crankshaft on your engine. Let's say that these are installed like so, right? So you're pushing your clutch in, but you're overthrowing it. You're pushing it more than it should, right? 
where's all that pressure gonna go when you're pushing down here and there's nowhere else for it to go? Everything, this is connected to the crankshaft, right? So that pressure has to go somewhere. This is on the crankshaft as well, right? Inside your engine. So when you're pushing, all that pressure, was, what is it gonna do? It's gonna make it go like this. It's gonna make these crush washers shift and the crankshaft itself, right? Because you're pushing it further, pushing it further. And eventually these are gonna wear out. You're gonna cause issues to the thrust washers, they're gonna go bad, and you could cause further issues to your engine, such as the bearings, the crankshaft itself, and numerous other things, right? So I just figured I'd at least show you guys some of the parts that can go bad, so you guys have a better idea. So we'll go over to the car now, and I'll show you the installation of the clutch pedal stopper. Now, the clutch pedal stopper is definitely highly recommended for this type of clutch, or even if you're running an just any other aftermarket clutch kit that's aggressive, then you're definitely gonna wanna run a clutch stopper. So let's go over to the car, guys. I'll show you the installation. So we're here on the vehicle to show you the installation of the clutch pedal stopper. You're only gonna need a five millimeter Allen wrench to tighten down those two Allen bolts. I suggest that you put blue Loctite on those bolts just so they don't back out over time. You're going to also need a half inch or 13 millimeter open wrench to tighten down the adjustment bolt, which I'll show you now. So here's the bolt that you would tighten down with the open wrench. You would make your adjustment on the bolt going in and out, and then you would tighten down the nut. The half inch or 13 millimeter open wrench will get that done for you. So as you see, when I push the clutch pedal down, it'll make contact with the chassis. And you would do your adjustment where you can still place the car into gear. If you realize that you placed this exactly where you wanted it and the vehicle still not starting, what you would do is go up here to the sensor, this one here. So when I push the clutch pedal in, you can see that it's making contact with the sensor, that little yellow uh, clip, right? So you may have to loosen this nut here. On my vehicle is a 17 millimeter. It might be different on yours. You will loosen this out and make your adjustment, whether you bring the sensor in or back. And yeah, some people, what they would do is they would uh, strip these two wires, twist them together, tape it. And that would make your car start uh, without pushing the clutch pedal in, which is useful if you're doing a remote starter. A lot of times what people would do is they would, they would remove the sensor completely. They would place a bolt there. And that would work as a clutch pedal stopper. So the bolt would make contact with that yellow clip. And it would restrict the pedal. It would stop it. And you wouldn't be able to push the pedal all the way in. So you wouldn't cause damage to your vehicle. Now, that normally would work. But the issue is that this metal here is very thin. It's not that durable. And you can just imagine you pushing on this pedal. And all that pressure from here pushing against that bolt. You know, that's a rigged up solution, right? Pushing against it, and it would eventually cause issues to this uh, metal, and it would cause it to crack, and then you got to replace the whole pedal. So this is a much better solution, a cleaner solution. Um, you can always remove this, use it on your next vehicle. You could always make your adjustments accordingly to the clutch that you're running. And yeah, if you need to adjust your clutch pedal, uh, this is how you would do it. So this is the clutch master here, clutch master cylinder. There's a nut right around here where my fingernail is. You can see it there. Um, that should be a 12 millimeter for most Hondas. So you would loosen up that nut and then you would make your adjustment here. You would grab this with your two fingertips, two or three, and you would twist it in or out. And then that's how you would make your adjustment on the clutch pedal, all right? So there's videos on that on how to do it. But either way, I wanted to show you the product uh, I think it's nice. I think it's durable. I think it's affordable. Uh, Jack Spania, thank you for sending it to me. Uh, they're currently out of stock. He only had a few. They sold out quick. They sell like hotcakes. So be on the lookout when he gets more. And I suggest you buy it. Thanks, guys.